guys welcome to today class in this class we are going to discuss jacobians jacobians is one of the application of partial differentiation in the beginning of the explanation of partial differentiation i told what are the applications one of the application for the partial differentiation is jacobians jacobians are nothing but they are express uh, first order partial derivatives in terms of the determinant Jacobian is nothing but we are expressing the first order uh, partial derivative in terms of what actually determinant. Now you already know that basic concept of determinant. If you want to represent uh, in the form of determinant means how many at least how many elements are required four elements. Therefore, if you want to define a Jacobian, at least are required two functions. Both the functions are depending upon more than one independent variables. Then only is possible uh, to represent, uh, then only is possible to define Jacobian. I told beginning Jacobian is nothing but representation of first order partial derivatives in the form of determinant. In the form of determinant. Therefore, you already know that in the if you want to define a de determinant, at least are required how many elements? Four elements. Therefore, if you want to define a Jacobian, at least are required two functions. Both the functions are depending upon more than one first order part. Uh, more, sorry, uh, is a function of uh, expecting more than one uh, functions, but all, all the functions are depending upon more than one independent variables. Okay. Now, if I, if we want, now I have to define a Jacobian, at least I require more than one means I'm going to take two functions. If, suppose, let u is a function of x and y, okay, and v is also a function of x and y. Keep in mind, what are the function we are going to consider? Both the function is depending upon more than one independent variables, but both are depending upon same independent variables, not for different independent variables. Now, now I want to write Jacobian of u and v with respect to what are the independent variables x and y is denoted by j of u comma v with respect to x comma y. This is a one way of notation or the another way of notation for this Jacobian of u v with respect to x and y means dou of u v divided by dou of x y is nothing but uh, both the notation give the same meaning. What, uh, what are the first order partial derivative of u with respect to x and y? It's represent the first row of the determinant. Dou u by dou x and also dou u by dou y. Next move to once you complete one function with respect to independent variables, next you take the next function, take a first order partial derivative of v with respect to independent variables. You write it in the second row of the determinant. This is nothing but Jacobian of u v with respect to y. That's why I told Jacobian is nothing but we are representing first order partial derivatives of the given functions with respect to independent variables. Therefore, if you want to define a Jacobian, at least are required how many, how many functions, at least two functions. Both the functions are depending upon at least, at least what, how many, two same two independent variables. Then you take one by one uh, function, write it a first order partial derivatives in row wise, automatically we are creating a determinant. This way we have to define a Jacobian. Suppose u is function of uh, uh, whatever that uh, e, uh, x, y, x, y, please try to understand x, y, z. They have a, they have a three in uh, functions. U, V, W. U, V, W. But U, V, W are functions of X, Y, Z. U is function of X, Y, Z. V is a function of X, Y, Z. Okay. And also uh, W is a function of X, Y, Z. Okay. Then I want to write the Jacobian. What is Jacobian? Jacobian of Functions. What are the function u, v, w uh, divided by with respect to x, y, z. You put a comma, bifurcation between the variables. 
Now we get a cross the determinant. Here we get 2 cross 2. Yeah. Now here we get what at 3? 3 cross 3. Now first you take u with respect to x. The another way of notation is ux, uy, uz for the first order partial derivatives. We already discussed in the first class of partial differentiation. Next you take in the second row v with respect to x, y, z. Next you take w with respect to x, y, z. This is, this is a way I have to define the cobian of the given functions with respect to independent variables. It representation of first order partial derivatives in the form of determinant. Now then easy, then you know how to solve a determinant 2 cross 2, 3 cross 3. We already studied in pure level. With, with the help of that concept, you uh, evaluate, finally we get the answer. That is nothing but the, the um, that is nothing but solution of the corresponding Jacobian of the functions with respect to independent variables. Next, before moving to the problem part based on the Jacobians, now first I have to uh, know they are totally they have two properties based on the Jacobian. Jacobians. Okay. Now I'm going to write properties of Jacobians. Properties of Jacobians. Okay. The first property. Okay. The first property is suppose if J denotes Jacobian of what is nothing but J denotes Jacobian of U V with respect to X and Y. And J dash denotes Jacobian of X X Y with respect to U and V. With respect to U and V. Then, then the product of these two Jacobian J into J prime is nothing but 1. 1 means actually we get an identity determinant, just like a 1, 0, 0, 1. What's the value of this identity determinant is 1. Or if you want to write I, or you write the value of the identity determinant is 1. Therefore, if the if the Jacobian J is nothing but Jacobian of U V with respect to Y, X, Y, and J dash is equal to Jacobian of uh, XY with respect to UV. Once you take the product of these two Jacobian, what you are expecting, identity uh, determinant, what's the value of that is 1. This is one of the property. The next is second one. The second property is uh, just like the chain rule of Jacobian. Another name of this property is nothing but chain rule, chain rule for Jacobian. Chain rule for Jacobians. Okay. Chain rules for Jacobians. Now, where we are going to use chain rule? Whenever the given function is a composite function, then we are going to use what is the chain rule. I already I told in the uh, problem what we solved in composite functions okay now now first we are uh, see chain rule for jacobians where we are going to use suppose the function is a composite function therefore suppose i'm going to take if u and suppose u is a function of r and s and v is also function of r and s both u and v are function of r and s where R and S are functions of X and Y. Say function of X comma Y and uh, S is nothing but it's a function of X and Y. Please try to understand that what we are consider here. U and V. U and V are functions of what actually? R and S. Where again R and S are functions of X and Y. Now, finally, what are the independent variables? X and Y are the independent variables. Now we are finding derivative of u and v with respect to x and y. Now it's involving more than one independent variables. Then I go for partial derivative using composite function definition. Okay. Now you already know that. Therefore, now, now how to write this type of function in the Jacobian? Now it is enough to find out Jacobian of R and S with respect to independent variable. What are the independent variable x and y? is nothing but Jacobian of R comma S with respect to X comma Y. Same, another way of notation for this. 
is nothing but from the chain rule. But R and S is not a function, uh, function, uh, sorry, U and V, not R and S. Yeah, I did mistake here, sorry. Now, we are finding, see, observe carefully here. Yeah, just a minute. Yeah, one point try to observe very carefully. Here, U and V are, U and V are functions of R and S, where R and S are functions of X and Y, therefore, independent variables are X and Y. We are trying to find out Q and V with respect to X and Y. Okay, not R and S. Okay, now uh, Jacobian of U, uh, U and V with respect to X and Y from the chain rule. You already know that R composite is just like a uh, composite functions. R and U and V is depending upon more than one va variables. These two more than these variables are depending upon more than one independent variables. But the Jacobian of UV with respect to X and Y is nothing but, but basically U and V are not a function of X and Y. From the chain to the Jacobian of UV with respect to R and S into R and S is a function of X and Y. R and S divided by Jacobian, uh, Jacobian of what actually X comma Y. This can also be written as J of UV with respect to R and S into, into what actually Jacobian of R and S with respect to X and Y. Yeah. Now, if you want to find out this, suppose the given function is a composite function, how to find out Jacobian of U V with respect to X and Y? First, you write Jacobian of U and V with respect to R and S into Jacobian of R and S with respect to X and Y. And next you write it in the form of determinant and then you find out the value of uh, this Jacobian and this Jacobian, you take it in the product that give rise Jacobian of UV with respect to X and Y. This property is very much useful whenever the given function is just like a composite function. It's a composite function, how to find out the Jacobian. This is a one of the property. These two properties is very, very much important while solving problems based on Jacobians, okay? The first property is Jacobian of UV with respect to XY and also J also must be J dash is nothing but Jacobian of XY with respect to XY, UV. Then you take it the product that you raise the value is the identity determinant, the value of that determinant is one. Whenever the given function is in the form of composite functions, then how to proceed, how to find out Jacobian of the given function with respect to independent variable. Using chain rule uh, definition, you make it the product of two Jacobians and then you find out both the Jacobians value separately and then take that product that you rest the value of the Jacobian of the given function with functions with respect to independent variables. Suppose the functions is in the form of composite functions. I think it's clear. Now I move to uh, solve a uh, few problems based on Jacobians. Yeah, the first problem. Yeah. This is, uh, uh, these are the, this type of problem they're going to expecting in the way in the uh, exam. Now I'm going to do it on the board. The first problem, problems. If you want uh, entire thing in one screenshot, I'm, show, I'm showing that uh, the property and definition, everything in my one uh, screen. Anybody want to uh, take it a screenshot for this? Okay. Uh, next is problems. Problems. First problem, if I'm going to take first a simple problem, after that we are going to solve a different type of problem here. Okay. The first problem is if x plus y plus z equal to u, 
y plus z equal to b and uh, a y z equal to w. Then find the value of the Jacobian of u v w. Sorry, not the Jacobian of u v w. The Jacobian of x y z. The Jacobian of x y z. With respect to u v w. Now this is a uh, want to find out. Once you write it, what is the given in the problem? Now. First, I want to find out what actually Jacobian of u x y z with respect to u v w. Yes, u v w. X y z with respect to u v w. First, you write it in the form of determinant. Do x y do u x with respect to u with respect to v and with respect to W. And also I have to find out Y with respect to U, with respect to V and with respect to with respect to W. Yes. With respect to W. And next, we have to take a next variable set partial derivative, first order partial derivative of z with respect to u, with respect to v and also with respect to w. Now if you want to find out uh, these values, uh, I want to uh, uh, record what type of function here, x is function of u v w, y is function of u v w and then uh, z is a function of u v w. Suppose x, y, z are functions of u, v, w, then it's possible I to find out these first order partial derivatives. But it's not given basically in the given function, x, y, z is not a function of u, v, w. Observe, x plus y plus z is equal to u, y plus z is equal to v, and then what is the next one, x, y, z must be equal to w. This is the way they are given, okay? Now here, uh, we try to understand that yeah, uh, the thing is, yeah, in the problem written a little bit wrong in the uh, please try to understand that. I did a mistake for this, uh, giving a given a function. Just a minute, I'm going to change the function here. Yeah, here also I'm going to change it. Okay, fine. Actually, the function is these two function is okay. The last one they given z is equal to u v w. Otherwise, you can't express it. Okay. Last one they given z is a function of u v w. Now z is equal to u v w. U v w. Okay, fine. What they given? X plus y plus z is equal to u, y plus z is equal to v, and z is equal to what actually? U v w. But if you want to find out these uh, deri partial derivative, first I take express x, y, z in terms of u, v, w. But anyway, they already given, uh, given what actually z is in terms of u, v, w. No issue. Using this, I am going to express y in terms of u, v, w. How to express what is my y from the second uh, equation? y plus z is equal to v. What we get actually v minus z. Why I am going to express like that? Because we already know that z in terms of u, v, w. I try to express y also u, v, w. Therefore, what is uh, my y? Is v minus u, v, w. Once you we get uh, y, z and y, automatically from the first equation, is equal to express x in terms of u, v, w. x can be written as u minus y minus z. u minus of what is my... Uh, uh, what about uh, y is v minus u v w okay minus of what is my z u v w okay observe carefully u minus v 
minus into minus plus uvw minus uvw. These two are cancelled. What we get actually u minus v. Observe carefully. Yeah, beginning I did mistake in this problem. In z is uvw. Now first, that's why before going to find out the derivative, partial derivative, first order partial derivatives of any one functions with respect to variables. First, you express the Jacobian in terms of determinant. Then easy to trace out. I want what type of functions. Here, I, after once you express in the form of determinant, you clearly will get idea. X and y. Suppose x, y, z are functions of u, v, w. Then only is possible I to find out these first order partial derivative. Therefore, what I did, anyway, they given already in the problem that this is a function of u, v, w. Then from that, uh, to express y in terms of u, v, w. Using y and z from the first expression, using that, uh, I am going to express what actually x in terms of u, v, w. Finally, we get x, y, z in terms of u, v, w. Therefore, what of this, after the simplification, what is my x is u minus v. What is my y is u minus u v u v w. What is my z? What is my z? u v w. Now, directly we are going to substitute the value because it's very, very simple. Now, from that, the cogen of x by z with respect to u v w with respect to u, v, w are nothing but determinant of yeah, do x by do u. Do x by do u. x with respect to u treated temporarily remaining uh, independent variables are constant. Therefore, do x by do u means 1 minus 0 because v is constant 1. Do x by do v. What is do x by do v? With respect to v, this is 0 minus. We don't have any w. What is do x by w? Uh, w is nothing but 0. Okay. Next, move to the y. Do y by do u. With respect to u, 1 minus. With respect to u, what are the constant? Vw is constant into the derivative of uh, u with respect to u, uh, u is y. Okay. Next. I go for dou y by dou v. Dou y by dou v with respect to, uh, uh, see this is 0 actually, with respect to u, this is 0. Why is 0 here? Because with respect to u, v and w are constant. Therefore, what happened with respect to u? 0 minus v, w is constant, derivative of u with respect to u is 1. Next, move to the, with respect to v, dou y by do v. With respect to v, this is very. What we get actually 1 minus u into w is a constant into derivative of uh, uh, derivative of v with respect to v is uh, what actually 1. Therefore, what we get actually in the second term, u v, u into w. v is 1. Next, I have to take do y by do z, do y by do w. What is do y by do w? With respect to w, v, uh, v and u are constant. Therefore, 0. This is actually minus u v into derivative of w with respect to w is 1. Next, move to what actually? Uh, z. What is my z? Z is nothing but u v w. With respect to Z with respect to u, v, w is constant into 1. With respect to v, u and w is constant, v is 1. With respect to w, v, u, v is constant into derivative of w with respect to uh, w must be equal to 1. This way I have to find out first order partial derivative of x, y, z, yeah, sorry, x, y, z with respect to u, v, w. Next try to uh, evaluate. The rest of thing is you know that you already studied, you already solved so many problems using based on determinant. Here also, 1. First row, you neglect the first column. 1 into, you neglect first row, first column means you multiply this thing. uv into 1 minus uw minus, once you move to the up, 
Once you move to the upper arrow, we have to take the negative sign. Minus into minus plus. What we get actually u square. Yes. U square d w. Then minus. While taking the mid one, we are always are taking plus minus sign. First term is plus, second term is minus, but this quotient is minus. What we get actually. Now you try to understand that. That's a, that's a very, very important. Now I'm going to take minus of minus what we get actually plus one. Okay. Okay. Now, now here, neglect first row, second column. You take the multiplication between these, these two and these two. Means minus uv, minus u, uh, sorry, minus uv and also uh, minus vw. Yes? Observe carefully. Yes? Please try to understand that this is actually, this is only uv, uv, uv no? Yeah, this is, you don't have minus sign. Okay, fine. Just a minute. Yeah, suppose you're confusing for this. Now I'm going to write now, in present thing, what we are going to take? DQ. Yes, fine. Okay. Now, what is that actually? It's nothing but UV, okay, minus VW. Once you take upper arrow, we get minus. What we get? Minus of minus UV into VW. What about the last term must be? Zero. Suppose you have last term, what are the multiplication I have to take? These two and these two. Neglect first row, third column. Other than that, okay? Now, I can simplify. You already know that how to uh, uh, evaluate determinant, okay? Now, what we get actually, once you multiply that, now uv, okay, minus u square vw plus u square vw okay fine yes and also here uh, plus into minus is uh, minus u v square w i'm simplifying for this minus into minus plus u v square w yes now what are the terms are cancelled these are cancelled what we get finally finally we get answer must be uv if a Jacobian of xy with respect to u and v, what we get actually? uv. Now, before going to wind up this uh, class, I'm going to explain once again for this. Now, if x plus y plus z is equal to u, y plus z is equal to v, and z is equal to u, v, w, I want to find out Jacobian of xy with respect to u, v, u, v, w. Means, first you express in the form of determinant first order partial derivative of x with respect to uvw in the second row y with respect to uvw z with respect to uvw then if you want to find out these values first you had to express x y z in terms of is uvw r x y z must be a functions of uvw but the problem is not given directly x, y, z is a function of u, v, w. Now, but anyway, the given z is a function of u, v, w. Using that, um, we, from the second expression, we are going to find out y in terms of u, v, w. Once you get the values of y and z in terms of u, v, w, take the first expression, find out x in terms of u, v, w. After that, find out carefully partial derivative of x with respect to uvw, partial and also y, uh, y with respect to uvw, and also z with respect to uvw. And then we solve the uh, 3 cross 3 determinant. You already know that how to solve 3 cross 3 determinant. Plus, minus, plus. The first term always positive. The value is 1 in the row, first row. You neglect first row, first column. Means you may take it uh, uh, second uh, second row and third row values. Okay, multiply them. We take a down arrow minus of the upper arrow. Then we get minus into minus plus. Then minus middle sign is minus, but this value also minus. We get minus into minus plus. 
neglect first row, uh, first row, second column. What are the row we are going to take? Second row, third row. You take the columns are nothing but first column and third column. Okay. Then you multiply that. These and then once you go for upper arrow, we get minus sign. That's why I written that also. Simplify that. Finally, we get the value of the Jacobian is u into p. Now, is it okay? Now, you see here I am finding partial derivative with respect to x, x, y, z with respect to u, v, w. You are finally are expecting a solution in terms of u, v, w are constant. Or maybe a zero, zero maybe a constant, or maybe a functions of u, v, w. Anyway, we get a function of u, v, w. This way, I have to evaluate the Jacobian of the uh, given a function with respect to independent variable. Now, I am showing the entire problem in one screenshot. Anybody you want to uh, take a screenshot for this, okay? Yeah. Now, I think uh, it's clear you get a familiar, familiar with uh, Jacobian. Jacobian is nothing but a representation of a starter partial derivative in terms of determinant. Therefore, if you want to de define a Jacobian, at least are equal to two functions. Both the functions are depending upon at least two independent variables. Okay. Thank you very much for listening my lecture. Uh, in the next class, I'm going to discuss different two more problems based on Jacobian. Bye. See you and take care.